to leave no one behind would actually be the very strong expression of what we're trying to achieve. Companies in the future that are successful are not companies that do less bad, but are actually companies that make a positive contribution to addressing some of these bigger worldly problems. I believe in the goodness of human beings, but sometimes we get programmed because of some forces around us. What we're trying to do is leverage our brands and the strengths of our total company to create transformative changes in society. For all of our products, what is the impact of water, waste, carbon emission, packaging? We map that and we see what can we do. We find ourselves dealing with two billion consumers a day. If you have that scale and size, then you also have that responsibility to put it to good use. We really need to move to a higher level of morality to work for this common good. We need to do that in partnership. The Tropical Forest Alliance is an agreement with, with the industry where we rally together the major retailers and the major manufacturers and got commitments to not sell any soy, paper, beef, pulp, palm oil from illegal deforestation. Our brands that actually have a more sustainable and more equitable mission, also brands that are more profitable. Take Lifebuoy, which is one of our bar soaps, a very old product that was invented actually in Victorian Britain, when one out of two babies didn't make it past year one because of issues of hygiene. We've reached about 400 million people now globally. In many parts of the world, the child doesn't make it still past the age of five. It's not your child, it's not my child, but yes, we are responsible for that. And it is actually the small actions multiplied by all of us that are going to make a big difference. Being more conscientious with your spending power, find out from whom you buy and buy from responsible companies. We can all be champions of the earth.